Okay, for number 23, we are going to divide this out. And you see that on the bottom, in fact, we have two terms, right? x and the 3, two terms. So in this case, we have to use the long division or the synthetic division. But let me demonstrate the long division right here. So to do that, of course, we have to use the long division bar first. And we will put on the top inside and the bottom outside. So you see that right here, we have 2x to the third power, right? Next, even though it says right here we have negative 5x, and this is to the first power, do we have any x squared term? We don't, right? However, when we are doing the long division, we still have to put that down. And let me just indicate that we have plus 0x squared, like this. This is like a placeholder, all right? You have to make sure you have that 0 right over there, lining up with all the powers. Just like when I write you a check, let's say I want to write you a check for $1,008. You see, I only mentioned the thousands place, which is 1, and then the ones place, which is 8. But how do I write down 1,008? 1, 0, 0, 8, right? Same thing right here. Anyway, we continue. So we just keep this right here, minus 5x, and at the end we have the plus 14. And we put this outside, which is the x plus 3 right here. Okay. So to do this, we can cover everything except for the first term inside and then the first term outside. So to start the focus. We are going to ask ourselves, what times x will give us 2x to the third power? You see, this is just x to the first power, so I must have x to the second power, right? And since this is just a 1, 2 times 1 will be 2. All in all, I need to have 2x squared. And I'm going to line out the x squared right here. So let me put down 2x squared here. And you will see, when you take this 2x to the second power times x, we will get 2x to the third power. Be sure you line them up, all right, according to the power of x. And don't forget to do 2x squared times 3, which is plus 6x squared, like this. And for long division, we will be subtracting this, right? And now, you see that 2x to the third power minus 2x to the third power is 0. The first term should always be cancelled out, right? Next, do this carefully. We have 0x squared minus a positive 6x squared. 0 minus 6 is negative 6, and then we have the x squared term. Be sure you change the sign right here. Once again, it's because 0 minus 6, we get negative 6. And that was the x squared term, so we keep it as how it is. And then to continue, we bring the next term down, which is the minus 5x, and then do the same thing. Compare the first term right here and the first term right here. What times x will give us negative 6x squared? Well, I just need to have a negative 6, because negative 6 times 1 will give me negative 6, right? And this is x to the first power already. I just need to have x, so I can produce the x squared. And now, take this, multiply with x. Negative 6x times x, that's negative 6x squared. And then, negative 6x times 3 is negative 18x, isn't it? So, we are good. And we continue, put a minus and also a parentheses. Now, take a look. This is negative 6x squared minus negative 6x squared. In another word, it becomes a plus, right? Negative times negative becomes a plus. Negative 6x squared plus 6x squared is just 0, so they're out. And we do this. Negative 5x minus a negative 18x, which is the same as saying negative 5x plus 18x. Negative 5 plus 18 is what? 13. It's a positive 13. Once again, it's negative 5 plus 18, which is a positive 13, right? And then we can put down, this is the x term right here. And to continue, we bring down the plus 14. At the end, you ask yourself, what times x will give us 13x? Well, we just need to have a plus 13, isn't it? 13 times x will give us 13x. And then 13 times 3 will give us positive 39. And at the end, don't forget to subtract again. 13x minus 13x is 0. And then 14 minus 39. 
right? This is a minus positive 39. 14 minus 39 is negative 25. And we are done with all the work for long division. At the end, this is how we will write down the answer, right? I will put on the answer right here. So this is equal to, this right here is called the quotient. We'll write it down first, which is that 2x squared minus 6x plus 13. And then this right here is the remainder. This is a minus. We have to subtract. So put that right here. Minus, we put down 25 on the top over the original denominator, which is the x plus 3, like this. Okay? And this is how we'll present the answer when we're doing the long division. It's polynomials. And that's it.